My name is Evan Mobley and I'm a senior environmental studies student at Salisbury University and I'm going to be talking to you about green building and its many positive effects for society. Um, climate change is a serious problem that affects everyone on this planet no matter who you are or where you're from and it ultimately will get everyone. Um, many of the problems that occur from climate change are increased flood risk, uh, worsening air and water quality, and uh, increased temperatures. These problems are worse within larger cities and highly urban areas. Um, so green building offers a, a solution to many of the problems. Uh, first of all, green building, according to Green Built Alliance, can reduce total building emissions up to 39% and even water use up to 12%. Um, also limiting uh, electricity use to 68%. Um, I learned about green building initially about a year and a half ago in a class called Green Infrastructure at Salisbury University. And ever since then, I've been taking time out of my other classes to do more research and learn more about it. And I really enjoy learning about it and I feel like I am qualified to talk about it. Um, to start, I would like to talk about the many types of green building and the most basic common forms that I've seen used. Uh, green roofs are probably the most common. They are just a big piece of, piece of grass placed on top of a building that is either used to mitigate um, rainwater flood off or just to help decrease temperature in the building by cooling it from the roof, um, eliminating like direct sun impact flying onto it. Uh, rain gardens are another common form. They're just placed around buildings typically and they are small holes in the ground um, a few feet deep that have plants and other green life in them that help mitigate uh, floods and direct them into the holes so they don't flood around carrying pollution. Um, district heating is another form of green building that is starting to come up in European cities. It is the process of using excess uh, power from coal power plants to heat a large amount of water. The water is then distributed throughout many large buildings throughout cities through tubing underground with new infrastructure. This is used to heat and or cool buildings, um, allowing for not for energy, to, ugh, allowing to not use energy to do so, saving money and precious resources. Um, most importantly, green building was designed and engineered to help save the planet. So some of the things it can do for nature are, um, according to the EPA, decrease temperatures in cities and eliminate the urban heat island effect. The urban heat island effect is a phenomenon that occurs within cities, um, predominantly very large ones with mostly gray infrastructure. Uh, it happens when sunlight get, gets trapped and like reflects within cities, trapping underneath like the main sections of it, not escaping and being absorbed into the concrete. Um, green building allows it to be reflected and allows for decreased temperatures within cities, mitigating the urban heat island effect. Uh, green building also allows for less stormwater runoff um, and less pollution spread. Um, when there's excess flooding, rainwater will flow anywhere, so it can pick up any trash, pollution, or contaminants, bring that anywhere else. Um, and it also improves cleaner air, air quality by having less emissions in the air. Um, the economic impacts of green building are very important. M many people don't like considering things unless they can save money with them, and with green building, you can save a lot financially. Um, overall, there is less energy use, which would save anyone money, um, any amount of money. Um, higher quality materials are used, which uh, in the grand scheme of things require less maintenance and less fixing and helping over time. Um, and certain buildings can receive subsidies from governments as the, if they are clean enough or very up to certain environmental standards will receive payments back. Um, green, to wrap things up, I would like just to restate the importance of green building and how crucial it can be for us. Um, according to the United States Green Building Council, uh, buildings take up almost 40% of global CO2 emissions in the entire world. So with green building, we can mitigate that some, some way. Decreasing that even by half would exponentially help the planet with CO2 emissions and greenhouse gas emissions. Um, Green building can also just directly battle climate change, decreasing waste, energy consumption, and lowering temperatures, which would help anyone in any parts of any city, um, which is why I love green building. And thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something.